Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Champion Slot Machine. I'm your host, Fizzle Drix, and with me today, as always, is my Twitch community. And we're going to be doing what we usually do on this channel or in this series. We roll our slot bot. He tells us two regions and two champions, and we make a deck out of it in Legends of Runeterra, and we try to climb a little bit of a ladder. We're going to talk about what the man or what the each of the champions does, the car strategies that go along with them, and try to see if we can build something that's competitive. Uh, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. I really appreciate it. It helps this channel out a lot. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. I come out with these videos about three or four times a week. And if you want to be a part of the deck building process, feel free to join me on Twitch. I Twitch, I stream every day from 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time until, well, until I get tired, really. Uh, so without further ado, let's see what deck we get today. Ooh, scouts. Ten men tell my tale. Push back the darkness. Okay, so we're doing Gangplank Lucian. That's kind of fun because powder kegs are units that die. And so it'll be it'll be complicated to make work, but if done properly, it could be pretty aggressive and fun. All right, let's go ahead and move on to Legends of Runeterra and talk about each champion and what they do. All right, now that we're in Legends of Runeterra, let's go ahead and look at our champions and what each one of them does. First off, we got Lucian. He's a two mana, three, two from Demacia. He has quick attack, which means he strikes before his blocker when he's attacking. And his level up condition is I've seen four plus allies or allied Senna die. When he levels up, he becomes plus one, plus one, like most champions. Instead of quick attack, he gets double attack, which means he strikes both before and at the same time as blocker. And he has this text that says each round, the first time an ally dies, rally. And rally means if you don't have the attack token, you gain the attack token and then can use it to attack, which sounds as crazy, is as powerful as it sounds. His champion spell is a four mana slow speed spell that grants an ally plus one plus one and rallies. And then it creates a Lucian in your deck. This is pretty good uh, for a champion spell. So good that some plenty of decks have run this card main board for a long time. However, it has been increased to four mana. The likelihood we put more copies of this than just his original one is a bit low, considering there's a card called Golgan, Golden Agus, which for the same mana cost does the same thing, but instead of plus one, plus one, it gives you barrier which is often far more valuable. Find is a champ spell, probably not something we're putting in our main board. This, he referenced Senna in his thing, so we're gonna mention it here. Senna is a three mana, four, two with quick attack. This is Senna, Sentinel of Light, not to be confused with Senna the Champion, which we cannot play because this is Shadow Isles and it's not one of the regions we have access to. Uh, she has quick attack and the first time an allied Lucian dies, grant me plus one, plus one and double attack. It's like she has a level up condition herself. She's one of those few followers that do. So we could definitely put her in, and we probably will, just because if these two are both on the field, it becomes very hard to remove one or the other without having to deal with a 4-3 with Quick Attack, or a 5-3 with Quick Attack. So that is Gang... Uh, Lucian, sorry. And Gangplank is a 5-mana five 5-4 five with Overwhelm, which means excess damage he deals to his blocker goes to the nexus and it says when i am summoned summon a powder keg a powder keg for those who don't know is a zero mana zero one that can't attack or block and is vulnerable but stacks so every powder you keg you place goes on the same unit it only takes up one spot on your board and all of your skills and spells deal one additional damage but it destroys itself whenever a spill skill or spell damages the enemy or the enemy nexus so it basically gives you a one-time increase in the damage of this particular ability or spell and can be very powerful when combined with certain effects. Not a lot of them are found in Demacia. Demacia doesn't really do direct damage, so it doesn't really want to use powder cakes, basically. Uh, but his level up condition is you've damaged the enemy Nexus five different rounds, which is a really tough level up condition to meet in a lot of decks if you don't have a means of just constantly dealing direct damage to the opponent. When you do level him up, the payoff's pretty good, though. 
He was plus one plus one like most champions. He was recently nerfed, by the way. He used to have he used to be a five five and a six six, but they took a, pa a toughness away from him because he's been omnipresent throughout Bilgewater. But he has when I'm summoned or round start, so he starts making a powder keg every turn and when he's summoned. And uh, he has a new skill that says when he attacks, he deals one damage to all enemies and the enemy nexus. The powerful explosion, which of course is augmented by his kegs and can deal a lot of damage. And of course, since he does overwhelm, it can deal damage to his blocker, making it difficult for them to be able to stop him from killing them. His champion spell, the one mass slow that deals one damage to anything. If it kills it, it deals one damage to the enemy nexus. Uh, it's an okay spell and can definitely get you some cheeky damage in on turns when it's not, when you don't have the attack token. Uh, we might put extra copies in of the deck besides the champion one. So that's it. Those are the two champions that we will be building today. So we're going to go ahead and discuss strategy and see what cards we were going to play in them. I'm the type of guy who likes to do collaborative deck building, so I like to build with my Twitch community. So the first thing that comes to mind with Lucian is get a bunch of units on the board and watch them die. And one of the things that's pretty useful with that are Powder Monkeys. So let's think about this. If we attack, summon the Powder Monkey after the attack. Around start. I don't know if Monkey Business makes any sense, but I still like the Monkey Idol. This can help us move towards the Lucian. So Monkey Idol is a three mana zero five with a mobile, can't attack or block. And at round start, it deals one, two to itself and summons a Powder Monkey, which is a one mana two one ephemeral unit that has last breath. When it dies, it deals one damage to the enemy nexus. It does a pretty good job at making sure that you get three uh, experience on your gameplay because it deals it has three powder monkeys inside of it essentially if it's allowed to live through all three turns without taking any damage and the powder monkey is a decent blocker also helps ping the nexus constantly and when it dies if lucian's leveled up we could rally so that immediately makes seems to make sense to me another card that works out really well is crackshot corsair crackshot corsair is a one mana one two it says when allies attack, deal one damage to the enemy nexus. It's a skill. Uh, very good. If we get multiple attacks off with our Lucian or other rally effects, it can continuously ping the nexus, and every time it does, it can contribute towards a gangplank level up. Warning shot's not as great if we're not playing Sejuani. I think Fleet Feather Tracker is kind of a must. It's one of the best Demacian units in the game. So one mana will 2-1. Uh, when you summon another ally, grant a challenger. So it's essentially just a one mana... 2-1 with Challenger, which is just powerful. So I think we try to play that. Uh, we probably are activating Plunder enough. And being able to get multiple attacks with a 3-3 could be valuable. So I'm thinking about playing Jagged Butcher, the one mana 2-2 two, two that says give me plus one plus one when if you've plundered. Which means that you've dealt damage to the enemy Nexus in some way. I, uh, I think this is pretty good too. So we've got a lot of one drops already. Which is good. We want a pretty aggressive early game in this deck, I presume. I, I think. I think I want to put in one parlay, maybe. I think and see certain hand states where I could kill a unit and deal damage to the other Nexus to keep the gameplay experience going. But I feel like that situation is pretty rare. And therefore, I don't want this thing to clog up my hands. So I'm going to put one copy of it in. This is one of those decks that really benefits from Ranger's Resolve. Ranger's Resolve is a one mana burst that says give all ice tough this round, which means that they take one less damage from all sources. It's pretty good for any deck that's trying to swarm out and attack multiple times because one of the best ways to counter a deck like this is something like Withering Whale, which this card just laughs at. <laughs> so I think at least two copies, maybe more, will go into the deck at some point. I think Blinding Assault is pretty amazing for this strategy. It's a two mana two one. It means a two mana slow that creates a two one with challenger and which means you can choose who blocks it and scout, which means the, if the first time you attack in a round is only scouts, then you gain the attack token again. I think I like two or th we're just gonna put all three in for now. And when you play these challengers, you pretty much always play Blight Steel Protector, the two mana three two that's his play, give an ally barrier this round. This allows your challenger units to just pick someone off and you get to keep the unit. If we're playing barrels, then one of the best things, or powder kegs, one of the best things to do is play this two mana tutu. 
It says when I'm summoned, summon a powder keg. And we've already discussed what those do. So this is one of the best cards in the game that allows you to make power kegs besides King Plank himself. There are a few others that are possibly worth a consideration, but I think this one is kind of a must. We also could use Make It Rain. Make It Rain is a pretty useful removal tool when you have barrels because it deals one damage to three different randomly targeted enemy units or the enemy nexus for a two mana fast speed spell. So if you have barrels or something like that, this damage gets upgraded and for each barrel, it gets exponentially more and more powerful and can be a pretty crazy card. I really like Make It Rain. We're gonna pop in three at the moment, just to see. If our goal is to spread out and attack multiple times and watch them die as Lucian, I can find few better cards in these colors than Mirai Warden. It's a two mana two one that when it's summoned, it summons a random one cost follower. It's pretty darn good for our, what we're trying to do, and I think also makes the cut. And we've practically filled out the deck already. Just think about cards that just make sense. Um, almost every dark, not almost, literally every deck that runs Demacia runs Sharp Sight. First speed spell, give an ally plus two plus two. I can block elusive units this round. That's just solid and gets there pretty much every time. I don't think much else maybe we play yeah i think we want to play some golden agus and this guy's always good always been good in these uh lucian decks because he dies then become he's a scout he goes out and dies and then he gets another attack and there's many ways you can sequence that to be valuable with lucian another option we could consider is putting in some copies of grand plaza which is a three mana landmark that says when an ally is summoned, give it plus one plus woe and challenger this round. So it can make all of my units, including this Mariah Warden, just pump out two challengers. And this means we can, and my monkeys would gain challenger. And this would allow us to basically control the whole board while also working towards a Lucian level up if need be. So I kind of like some Grand Plaza. Maybe not as a 3 of, because the truth is Grand Plaza. I think I just want it as a 1 of. It's one of those cards where you don't want to build a deck around it, even though it feels like you do, because it's such a cool effect. But the problem is, this card is useless in multiple copies. And if you build your whole deck around it, then it's not good when you don't find it. So, 1 of in a deck that could use it, but as other wind guns is perfectly fine where it's at. I think we should run Senna just because it can help level up the Lucian. I don't think we run single combat, right? No, we probably do. Yeah. I'm just putting in cards right now. We'll trim down later once we've decided everything that we want or are considering. And then we'll consider the Grizzled Ranger. Concerted Strike doesn't make much sense, I don't think. And once we start getting up here, I don't think it really makes much sense for this aggro deck. All right, so we're at 52 of 40 cards. We definitely have to start trimming some things. So, things that are getting trimmed. I don't think we need all three Senna. We can drop one, for sure. Monkey, I don't think is too good. Single combat. I'm going to drop one. It's pretty solid. Maybe these barrels aren't making much sense. Maybe we're trying to be an illusion aggro deck that tries to just like jam out damage. And when Gangplank is just a win condition. I mean, I still like this to help it go off, but maybe we don't play the deck hand. I think he's still really good. Darn, I like all these cards. Maybe Corsair's not aggressive enough and you'll just sit there. We don't want it to die. I think one of the things that's important about this deck is that all of our units are expendable except for Lucian. Maybe this guy doesn't make sense if we're not playing her. So we just keep the like challenger game plan. <laughs> we keep the deck hand, we keep the warden, we keep the make it rain. I think maybe the Grizzled Ranger isn't cutting it here. Maybe Deckhand's only a two of because we only have the one parlay, the three make it rain, and then gangplank to get use out of this barrel. Kind of takes away from the idea I was thinking of of barrels with Lucian. There goes get rid of Senna. The curve on this deck is not bad since it's like all two drops. Well, this is going to be my initial attempt, I think. We will see how it goes from here, but this is what I think we'll start with. We're gonna use basically Fleet Feather, Wet Tracker, Blinding Assault, and Bright Steel Protector to create an early game where we remove and control our units. 
we're gonna play Lucian and hopefully watch some of this stuff happen in order to help level him. We have powder kegs exploding, which might help level him, although admittedly we have very little of that. We might lean to that in a bit more, honestly. We have Mirai Warden, which just pumps out two units. I think this card is just really good. Gold Monkey Idol to help us get Lucian leveled up while also helping level up Gameplank. It levels up both our champions. Senna can give us a quick Lucian level up. Grand Plaza can be useful in so many situations. Golden Agus for the rally effect. And then, of course, we're playing... Uh, Gangplank, Lucian, and then the standard good Demacia cards of Sharp Sight, Single Combat, and Rangers Revolve. With that created, let us go ahead and try it in some normals first. Because I do care about my rank and I do want to get into Masters at some point. And so we will play this on Rank Ladder, but I just want to do the first two games in norms before we get there. Because I want to know and playtest the deck and see if it needs to make some tweaks. Okay, so... I guess I have a much of an early game. I don't like this make it rain and the deck hand combo. I don't think single combat gets there. So I'm going to drop the single combat, but I kind of like the rest of this. So we're going to run it as is. Okay, this makes it even better hand. We're not blocked. We're not taking that damage. We're not taking that uh, the face to this unit. Um, I think we play the Mirai Warden here. Because I want to play the deck hand and have mana to make it work. Ooh, that's one of the worst options I could have gotten. I could swing for two and lose my tracker to make him a 1-1. One -one. That sounds horrible. I come in, buddy. I think we just play this. Play Lucian. Push back the darkness. It's a good draw right here. Oh, Rangers resolve won't do enough to save him from the freaking box. Won't catch me. I get this barrel off my field. Also moves towards the gangplank level up. Well, I was, that was gonna happen anyway because of the monkeys. Forgot. Good swing. I would do six, seven, eight damage. Put him to six. Probably the best option I got. I don't think the Senna does anything here, and I don't want to give it an option to play a slow speed spell. So I could buff this. That would go to four, five from the next monkey. I think we just do this. I think we just let this happen. And, uh, we go from here. Never won. Without the other. I just want to pass. He's burning one. I'm burning one more mana than him, but I don't mind. Three. Four. 
making the dead deader. The hunt begins. So I blocked their monkey idol dies. I don't think I want my monkey idol to die. I think we just take this damage. Yeah. I don't want my monkey idol to die. I want that extra damage. Same, we couldn't get damage in one more other time this game. It won't happen again. Well, that happens. Can't do anything about that. Almost that bad. They're freaking luck. I've been hiding my life too long. For the tribe. You got it fast. care about him killing the barrel I care more about killing the Lux but he's probably got a sharp set himself so oh wow I actually get the Lux out of here interesting he's gonna kill him with this blast but kill her I mean yeah that part sucks got five mana which is rough uh, yeah of course he just has another you should have expected that. Salt and bride. I don't think we have an option here. Yeah, that's good. This card turned out to be kind of dead in this matchup. Uh, there's the Avengers. That's kind of what I expected. And now he just kills the barrel to win. I could buff the barrel and give it toughness, and it would leave me alive at one hit point. All right, let's do it just for the funsies. Playing slot machine because it's fun. Let's have some fun. Big brain calculated plays. <laughs> oh, I'm so screwed. It's amazing. I would have to draw another gangplank and him not have an answer. Unlikely. Oh, there's my dog Lucian. Changes everything. There's a chill in the air. <laughs> that was just funny. I just had to do it because it was funny. <laughs> it wasn't enough. Dang right, it wasn't enough. I just, I'm gonna assume every Shadow Isles deck has three in their opening hand. He's got three boxes. I guarantee it. He's got nothing but the box. All right, so we really want one of our one drops or something to get. To kill this stupid catalyzer of his. There we go, there's an answer. Shad, we don't get an open attack. We don't get a turn one attack. Catalyzer comes down because he always does. You suck. Man, my rolls with this card are pretty bad. There. Let's go try again. You know what might not be bad is that Yordle that makes things with less power than it have quick attack. It could be pretty good. Let's keep one, make it rain. And a single combat. Single combat for Diana, make it rain for Zoe. Uh, 
on this group shot main board. Alright, right, well, he stops the gangplank level up there. Or experience group buff. We were peaceful once. So pass. No more hiding. You got another one. Hello, new best friend. <laughs> Thank you. That's a decent roll. Their scent travels on the night air. Calm mind and open heart greet the night. I think I just attack with these guys. I don't think I pull any of this garbage in. Keep my tracker. Let's swing with these guys. You were misguided. Okay. He does have another stupid group shot. There's one mana for one mana when you look at it. We're at the same, except for I'm down a card, but I have a unit on field. It's going to pass. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. They don't. I get nothing else out of that. Nothing but spells, that's rough. Alright, I'm starting to see what cards this deck doesn't really want to play. Start with the tough. Then we have him buff. And then we single combat. Oh, hello. He drained a hush for that. I have another hush, but if he does, then it just gets rid of this and I keep my unit. Oh, that was a mistake. I misplayed that, but whatever. I rarely forget, but never forget. Of course. Of course, you just ask him anymore if I should have expected as much. Nice. They did some damage. We'll see if it matters. Ooh, golden eggs. Nice. Oh, nope. That sucks. Heals himself. Jeez. So I can swing for nine and then swing for nine again. I wish I had that a turn earlier. All three star shaping. What a beast. It's still lethal. Okay. GG. I thought he had like something else to follow up with it. <laughs> well, we get a murder there, so that's good. I already see where I want to like make some changes. I actually kind of like the Dreadway deck hand. I don't really want... I like the Mariah Warden. I don't really want the single combat, oddly enough. I don't think I want her either. 
I know single combat just won that game, but well, I lost that game. But if you look at our units, there's like not good units. You know, I'm gonna keep one in just because there could be some situations where it's useful. Maybe Cataclysm makes sense. Only if we're also playing the four drop Grizzled Ranger. Or maybe it's even Island Navigator, actually. Nah, she doesn't do that much damage. I think it's Grizzled Ranger. So we put him in one Golden Agus, the single combat, and a Ranger's result. And then we're gonna put in two Cataclysm. All right, let's tank our rank. Yeah. Ooh, Ari Lulu with Piltover and Zahn. Interesting. Hmm, okay. We don't have the t one drop, so this guy isn't as good. This chick's really amazing, though, with this. We're going to keep these. And pass. Push back the darkness. Like that. No room for doubt. Lock twin disciplines? You gonna try hard like that? Or are you just gonna let me do three damage? Or are you just gonna go for the blank mystic shot? Well, I hope you don't have another one, because otherwise this play is bad. Nice! Gets the five damage in there. Beautiful. We have use for the spell mana, so we'll pass. We can play monkey idol. You might play the one drop elusive. The forest surrounds us. Oh, she just swings for two. Okay. Maybe I have a notify for this. That's fine. I'm actually okay with that. Doesn't really do much if you think about it. What is a challenge? We're just gonna attack. If he has a way to buff and kill him, I'm not really, I don't really care. Okay, we get that out of him. That's funny. Give me one less monkey. We got one less monkey because of it. Alright, dude's getting some elusive poros on the field. We got another monkey creator. Your arrival honors us all. Okay. like a stun or a recall for this like 90% of the time. Find your own mischief. It just has two mini cards. Okay. Interesting. 
interesting. I rarely forget, never forget. Well, I forget everything, don't I, Piss? Oh, oh wait, I lost them. We're getting the grass. We're getting ready. <laughs> also, the health will not do enough, so we're just going to pass as is. See what he does. Can't really cast this. One more card, please. Nope. No. You rule the forest, Simon, as it rules you. Okay. And we rally for the win. Oh, wait, no, it's not the win. It just murders his unit. But then next turn, I can just open attack for the win. This is mercy. This is mercy. And now we just open attack. Baby, get a ranked win. First try. Here we go. Get him. Put to rest. Put to rest. All right. We've got another ranked win to accomplish. Let's try, try, try again. This guy got less sweepers, though. He has nothing parlay is going to hit. I may want the rally with the other Lucian. I want the Ranger though. Let's get a lower curve. I actually don't mind having both Lucians in my hand here. Getting me sweep one. All right, we're passing. Sure, engine prep sounds like a good idea. Frostbites, like, I think he plays the one mana Frostbite, right? Okay. That's two deaths triggered. I just realized the best thing about this is when you have, I'm thinking about when you play him with a Zier and you have the landmark. I don't actually know how great it is right here. Oh my gosh, he has the, he has it already? Holy crap. Oh yeah, that's correct. I think playing Gangplank is correct. I 
rarely from kings, never from kings. Guess it wasn't correct. Should have attacked. Should have been the right move. I regret that. This quick attack. I think we save it. There's only one of these coming out, right? Yeah. I think we save the gangplank for when we have one mana to use this sword. But I guess it doesn't matter once he has the 8-8 eight, eight out. You can do your 10 damage. Yeah, sure. Once again, I get this f thing. Like, god dang, my luck is so horrible. Uh, Jesus. I'm inclined to take Mariah Ward now just because it keeps giving me the 0 1 or the 0 3. Or the other 0 3. It hasn't given me that yet, but. Why wouldn't it? Break their legs. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to do that. I want to pull you to the end and I want to put this on you. I guess it makes no tense attack with those. They're stacking. Up. Oh, a full on and two treatment. Interesting. There's a few mistakes made there, so we don't win. We don't win that game. Ashes and dust. Grand Plaza game. That'll be interesting. Ooh, and a fleet feather track. Group shot, let me guess, since that's the hot fire everyone's freaking playing these days. Nice to meet you. I'm Isla. Hey. It's like a real unit. Damn, that thing's big now. accident that those two have synergy play for board right now. Sure. It's Grant. It's really good. It's fast. Stay back. 
character dies, but I can stop that from happening. I don't think it's the right call. I rarely forget. Oh, I wish I didn't play him. I would have been better. I am lightning. I break the wind. I'll show him pay. She takes it. Must have another one up. That's not the deck I expected. Oh, I've never met anyone like you. I don't see what I do against this guy. It's not even worth it. Just pass. Yeah, sure. Avatar of Tides made that fun. Push back the darkness. If only it mattered. Ashes in the dust. I actually think I want more of this. This guy's not as good as I remember. You guys misremembered why he was good. Less Cataclysm, less of this, more of this. This is a far more aggressive approach. Hey, he's playing a better version of our deck. So, I don't want to keep this. This guy doesn't make sense if we don't have any spells to make it good. I'm going to get rid of all these. No, that sounds weird, but I'm gonna. Honestly, this looks a little better. Here's a one drop, I'll be happy. Yeah. Don't get in my way. That's him to block the loosey goosey. No room for doubt. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Ugh, that's like the worst thing for us. We're about to take 10 to the face. Is it everything always my birthday? What am I doing? Hello, new best friend. Feels weird, but we're doing it. Hey, 
There's plenty of killing left. Burn away the shadows. Feels aggressive as hell, but we're doing it. Goes to A health. We're just playing purely defensively here. We're just gonna keep our mana open. There's a chill in the air. Okay. No room for doubt. Thing just like digital glitch. Um I should have played the Golden Angus there. As soon as he played the Lucian. That was what I made. I may stay there. <laughs> oh, I've never met anyone like you. There's a rally just like me. Sure is dark, you know, eh? You should really pay more attention. He gets one option. He didn't like it, so he gave up. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, that really aggressive play out worked out. And stay dead. Yeah, what well, he said. Stay dead. Alright, one more attempt. One more attempt to try and get a win out of this deck. <sighs> get rid of one of them, keep the rest. Deck combination doesn't have a lot of spot removal unless they're playing like the challenger units. So we're gonna play her, but he's probably gonna play this one drop. Yeah, that's what I expect. Well, that's strong. Push back the darkness. Punish transgressions. Still five to face. Rough. into a sharp sight. The guilty will bend. That guy sucks, but he's at 19 health. Oh, man. 
mercy for heretics. Show them what we're made of. Oh, I've never met anyone like you. Forge ahead. lethal on him though. Got him! Yeah, yeah. Oh, this deck felt good. This was a fun one. <laughs>